House has resumed. Members, the House is debating the Appropriation 2012-13 Estimates Bill and the amendment proposed there to Dr. Cam Calder. Has the call? He has two minutes remaining. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, despite our small size, if we do it right... So, uh, sorry, a point of order, the Honourable Hickey Parada. Mr. Speaker, I seek leave to make a personal explanation. Uh, I would prefer if you did two minutes after the speech rather than inter interrupt the member's speech. Can, can the member wait that long? Oh, I, just, I can. I was just giving Thank you. I'll, I'll hear the member, then I'll take the point of order, if you don't mind. Mr Speaker, despite our small size, if we do it right, and we do it well, such as the state of global financial mayhem, we will distinguish ourselves from the herd, Mr Speaker, and Mr Speaker, we already are. Growth in New Zealand over the next three years is forecast to be higher than Europe, the UK, Japan, the US and Canada. We're expected to have a similar growth rate to our nearest neighbour and greatest trading partner, Australia. Our growth in New Zealand is based on strong fundamentals and we are producing the sorts of product and types of services that will be increasing demand across the world over the coming decades. And fortuitously, we are now ideally placed so that 60% of our exports now go to Australia, East and Southeast Asia, some of the most vibrant and thriving nations in the world. This budget provides a sound economic base upon which to go forward. In this budget, we're invest yeah. investing in research and innovation to help our exporters stay ahead of their competition. Over the next four years, We'll invest $166 million in the Advanced Technology Institute, helping high-tech firms improve their productivity. $60 million for the National Science Challenges, solving fundamental issues that New Zealand faces. $100 million increasing performance-based research. $59 million, Mr Speaker, for more science and engineering tertiary courses. Mr Speaker, I commend this fundamentally sound, disciplined budget. A, po a point of order, the Honourable Hickey Parada. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to make a personal explanation. Leave assault for that purpose. Is there anyone opposed to that course of action? It appears not. Leave is granted. Mr Speaker, I would like to clarify an answer I gave to oral question number 10 today. I was asked if I had received a list and I replied no. My office did receive a list of schools affected by ratio changes as well as forecast roll growth. However, this